close. I don't mean to sound suspicious, but do we really think the admin is going to keep his word about this clock? Yeah, I don't exactly get a trustworthy vibe off of him. I just hope we can fix everything. <sighs> don't worry, Radar. It's under control. I hope you're right. He seemed really, really powerful. And hey, if he doesn't stick to the deal, we'll just need to find another, punchier way to convince him. Hey, Jesse. Uh, can we, um, talk? I'll just walk a little more over here. Oh, uh, right. Uh, uh, me, me, me too. About that trip with Jack. I promise it's not like it seems. It's just a little trip. A little time away from Beacon Town. To, I don't know, find myself? You're gonna come back, right? Sure. Uh, of course. I... I really am sorry that it happened this way. I, I was just so excited to be hanging out with real hardcore adventurers again. Especially because I was worried that you, that you didn't need me anymore. Petra, of course I need you, that's ridiculous. Ugh. See, this is why it would have been so much easier if you hadn't found out like this. It's just, Everything's so different from when we first became friends. Everything's changed. Lucas, Axel, Olivia, they all changed too. They found what made them happy. Their thing. But me? I still haven't found mine. Do you know how hard that is? I think we both know that you're the only one that could find the answer to that, Petra. Yeah, I know. Just wish existential crises came with maps, you know? <laughs> Luna? Uh, is that a scarf on that llama? Huh. Think she ran away again? Uh, excuse me. Speaking for the group, you guys know a llama? Where'd she come from? She's just a goofy llama. A little weird, but nice enough. Don't know if you've looked in the mirror lately, but I'd watch who you're calling goofy. Everyone get away from my llama. No. Jesse, my rival. Should have known I would find you here. <laughs> Stella, listen, I don't know what you think you're doing here, but you should get home. It's dangerous. <laughs> Trying to hog all this, uh, whatever it is, for yourself? I see your game. Okay. What is going on here? Lucas, this is Stella, the leader of Champion City. This is Jack, Voss, and Radar. Jack, was it? As in the legendary champion? So, what exactly are you doing here, Stella? My beautiful city is currently covered in a hideous coat of snow. That's what. I came out to investigate, and surprise, surprise, it's you. If you're smart, you'll undo whatever it is you did and put things right again. Just... wow. It wasn't me that did this, it was the admin. Huh, I don't know who this Adam is, but it seems awfully rude to pin it on him. No, admin. Ad min. He's like oh, he's a big giant bad guy, super powerful. Hmm. Alright. Let's say I believe you. I suppose I'll just have to find a way to fix it. It's my world too, after all. You'll see, I'll fix it all on my own. I don't need any of you losers. Whoa, the, the moon is...
is stuck. Okay, that's freaky. So, Stella, you were saying? I was saying that maybe I'll stick around for a bit, just to keep an eye on you. You know I'm all for trying to find my own path, but does it really have to have Stella on it? <laughs> Okay, Radar? Yes, yes, totally fine. Guys, shh. We need to keep an eye. Whoa. I'm actually kind of speechless right now. Man, and it's all ice? <laughs> Astounding. <laughs> I know. It looks like the sort of buildings I've always dreamt of building. Hey, found the clock. Perfect. But how are we gonna get up there? Well, the admin mentioned challenges. I'm guessing there's gonna be, like, obstacles or something when we get... Uh, wait. Do I have this right? Are you telling me that this admin is so powerful, he built all of this instantly? You sound almost jealous. Almost? Of course I'm jealous of power like that. Power is how the world is run, little man. It's what people respect, what they listen to. Stella, I know you haven't met him yet, but I promise you, the admin is nuts. <sighs> yeah, you really don't want any part of that. Trust me. Huh, lesser minds often do mistake true genius for madness. <laughs> On second thought, maybe I can't wait for you to meet him. Oh, Stella, you'll never change. Oh, I thought I recognized you. You're the quitter who used to work on my inventory management team. Wait, wait, do, do you two know each other? Uh, yeah. I, uh, I used to live in Champion City. What? I don't know what he told you to get on this little team, but I don't think he even knows how to use a sword. Oh, you don't know anything, Stella, so zip it. Ooh, how do you put up with that little voice of his, Jesse? I know I never could. I'm just telling you, Jesse, I'd be careful about counting on him for anything. Come along, Luna. <laughs> I know that you might not absolutely, totally, 100% believe in me, but I promise, you'll see. I'm not the person she thinks I am anymore. I've changed, and I can prove it. I can be different, braver. If that's what the situation requires, I'll do it. Just try not to get killed, okay, Radar? I want everyone to get home alive. I, uh, yeah. I'll make sure it's at the top of my to-do list. Would you look at that? Haven't seen anything that grand since the last time I visited the overcompensating builders of Igesh. No kidding! Oh boy, my favorite. Mystery levers. Many of you there are. Lovely. Your choice of company. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, this place is really for the best of the best. Not, uh, how do I say this? Losers? Mr. Admin, mighty sir. I'm Stella, founder of Champion City. Maybe you've heard of me? No, never. It's actually perfect, Champion. I can see you all have dreams of greatness. It's very cute. This construct before you, it's meant to see who's worthy of that greatness. Separate the strong from the weak. So, we'll see how your little companions do, eh? 
Well, don't even worry about it, because my friends here aren't weak. Mm-hmm. Cool. If you say so. Come now, don't be that way. This, this is all for you. New creatures of my own design, as well as mining fatigue at every turn. Wouldn't want you cheating, of course. I don't like rule breakers. It's simple. You all want to get to that clock, but only the best of the best get to partner up with me in the future. But that could be you. Hook this place up just for you. I mean, it's pretty... Well, I was going to say pretty cool, but with the whole ice motif, that just seems like I was going for a lame pun, so... Anyway. It's people's lives are at stake here. Can't say I care for your attitude, but that's fine. You'll figure it out soon enough. Nice landing. Ah, uh, it's nothing. It's just my perfect reflexes and photographic muscle memory. Well, that's it then. The way is shut. Yes. Now I suppose the only way out is through. Yeah, and smashing that clock. Well, we're not all going to be smashing the clock. Say what now? You heard the admin. He only wants the best of the best. And that's going to be me. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Sorry, handsome. Might as well quit now. Speechless, huh? I get it. You're intimidated. Understandable. Wow. It's... it's amazing. Hmm. You're his little buddy, Jesse. You know anything about this partnership he's offering? Imagine everything you could create, everything you could do, with a prize like that. All I know is that I don't trust anything the admin says. Uh, I'd agree with that. Come on, Luna. Enough of these losers. We've got treasure to find. Hey. Treasure sniffing llama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell your friends. <clears throat> hey now. Oh, that poor llama. Whatever, Stella, you're not getting to that clock before us. You know why? Because you're the worst. Whatever, Jesse. Stars always have to put up with the little people at the bottom. Let's go, Luna. <clears throat> is certainly a woman who knows what she wants. Are you kidding? She's nuts. Ah, well, no one knows better than me that the admin's traps and constructions mean business. You've got a point there, old friend. I don't want to see anyone else get hurt. Yes. And it's like the admin said. Not everyone here might be uh, up for the task. I mean no offense by it. Just uh, stating facts. All in this together, all right? No one's getting left behind here. Ah, <sighs> fine. But if something happens to them, that's on you, not me. Come with me, Jack. Uh, let's try and scope this place out. I'm... I'm gonna go talk to them. Well, I have never been so offended. Not in my whole life. Yeah, that wasn't the coolest. Oh, oh, wasn't the coolest? Oh, no. Misfiling your acacia wood during material organization week isn't the coolest. That was... that was a stripe too far. But just because I'm not some sword-swinging meathead, they think they can just walk all over me. They, they, Radar! They, they, they look at... Ah, sorry, I had to get that off my chest. I need you to remember that out there, the world is stuck in eternal night. There are a lot of scared people back in Beacon Town who are counting on us. You're right. Uh, we were talking and decided that it would be best for everyone if Radar stays here with Lucas while we go get the clock. Uh, that's it, Luna, Luna. darling. 
<laughs> She's got the clock sent. <laughs> Later, losers. We're wasting time. Wait. It's like Jesse said. We can't trust the admin. Sure, it looks like Luna found something, but that's... Just what the admin wants us to think. You saw the llama! Jesse, you're coming, right? We could really use a hand over here. Be safe, okay? If you're sure. Woohoo! I knew you'd make the smart choice. Okay? Definitely. What a rush. I'm all right. I'm okay. I am so sorry. I'm okay. Really. Just getting my adventure legs. I'll be better in a minute. No worries. Minecart to the worst. Yeah, just ooh, feeling real sick. Right, Lucas? What? Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> definitely. Ooh, minecarts. Uh, hey, you, you guys didn't have to do that. But thanks. I gotta say, if you're having a hard time with the minecarts, you might not like what comes next. Hello there, it's me again, your friendly neighborhood admin. <laughs> Pretty proud of this challenge, not gonna lie. I was feeling very inspired by the concept of karma. I'd tell you why, but well, that'd spoil the surprise. I'm sure you understand, right? Real heroes live for surprises. Unexpected dangers. This is all... Duh! My town's in danger and you're playing games. It's all games, champion! Winning, losing, but that's what life's all about. Now, once you figure that out, you'll be much happier. Let's just say I hope you're feeling good about your archery skills, hmm? Between you and me, though, champion, I'm less worried about your archery than I am about your choice of companions. Let's see if I can shuffle the board a bit, hmm? Give you another pair of hands to help out. <laughs> How? He's no Jesse. But he's better than that other guy, right? Oh, dear. All you need to do is activate the shooting gallery, hit all the targets, and the door will open. <laughs> Easy, right? Okay, but what are those pumpkin heads for? Don't worry, Jesse. We'll figure it out. shooting targets with. Now I just need a bow. A button? Maybe it 
turns this whole thing on. A button. Maybe it turns this whole thing on. A button. Maybe it turns this whole thing on. Time to meet your maker. Always good to have string around. some targets, huh? <laughs> he really reminds me of us. You know, back in the day, eager to make his mark. Always ready for whatever's around the next corner. I do have to admire the guy's bravado. Yeah, he's way braver than I was our first time out. I'll give him that. Come on, how do you turn this stupid thing on? <laughs> Looks like he needs our help. All right, Button, you're mine. 